guys how are you today uh, I think it's great for you and today we have a meeting about the preface of uh, technology of biological chain okay last meeting uh, I show you about the uh, uh, two videos about the uh, ladybug coccinella coccinellidae uh, first is a uh, uh, coccinellidae but uh, they they a pass yeah they attack the uh, plant and eat the plant so we call it the, the pass and second video is a coccinellidae but uh, we call with the predator yeah okay At the first, you will see that uh, in the picture, uh, there is some crops, white crop, yeah. It's the one of the past in a uh, sugar cane, yeah. Uh, they uh, infected by the fungi, yeah. They invented by the fungi. We call it uh, with the Pefaria pasiana fungi, yeah. Nah. It's a white crab, and then uh, another picture is a, a prone plant hopper. Yeah, prone plant hopper is uh, the sucking insect uh, that attack the party field, yeah, rush field, and is a uh, is the same with the white crab. It's infected by the uh, Pefaria basiana. Okay. Before we talk about the biological action technology, we must know about the plant disturbing organism. In Indonesia, we call it the organism pengganggu tanaman. There are many of a uh, plant disturbing organism. We know with the pest. Pest is uh, from the animal. Yeah, animal that is disturbing the the plant. And then pathogen. And then a uh, witch, yeah, okay. And the pathogen, yeah, is a uh, special because it's uh, maybe it's a uh, uh, from two men, yeah, two men uh, uh, products that the abiotic or biotic that the abiotic is from the uh, non living uh, things. Like a water, like a temperature, like a rain, and so on. Yeah, but a uh, pathogen that is effect from a biotic factor is a from the organism, like a, a microbe. Yeah, from the bacteria, from the fungi atau jamur. Yeah, and then from the other uh, multiple. A kingdom of protists, yeah, it's like a protozoa, and it is, yeah. And the last uh, plant disturbing organism is from a witch, yeah, which is a kind of the plant, but they uh, uh, can uh, make the uh, our plant product is uh, getting small or maybe uh, getting. Die. It's a weed. But uh, in our uh, material, uh, I I will not uh, teach you about the weeds because we have uh, another uh, major about the weeds. Yeah, Punindi um, uh, is a teach about the weeds, so it's not uh, my uh, focus area in this uh, um, material. Okay, uh, it's a previous uh, meeting. We talk about the coccinellidae. Yeah, coccinellidae have uh, two uh, main of the uh, type. Yeah, at the first is a uh, we call predator. Yeah, predator is a uh, uh, there are many species that. Uh, uh, we call the predator in the coccinellidae. Uh, uh, at the first, uh, maybe you know Perania lineata have a line uh, 
line duct in the elytra. Elytra is a, a front front uh, wings of the coccinellite. We call elytra, yeah, elytra atau uh, in Indonesia, in Indonesia we call with the uh, sayap depan, yeah, sayap depan keras itu disebut dengan elytra, yeah. And it's, a, it's the larvae of the Perania lineata. And then, uh, Cusinellidae in Predator, we have uh, Menosilus uh, segmaculatus, yeah, uh, with a pattern like a uh, Japanese doll, yeah, Japanese doll, uh, or maybe the a Japanese mask, yeah, it's a uh, so like a uh, uh, the the pattern is like uh, the Japanese mask, yeah. Menosilus sex maculatus, yeah. And the third, uh, yeah, is it the three of a uh, species is just a uh, example because the uh, predator type of coccinellidae have uh, many predators in their family, yeah. And the last of uh, the example of the predator is a coccinella, yeah, coccinella, and it is the larvae of the coccinella. Okay, I want to explain about the, uh, how how to separate the coccinellidae, the predator and the pest, yeah, or in Indonesia we call it the hama. Hama is the pest. Yeah. Okay, uh, the different, yeah, the truly different is uh, from the elytra, elytra or the front wings, yeah, atau kalau orang Indonesia bilang, ya, yeah, in Indonesia we, we call with the uh, uh, sayap depan, ya, yeah, sayap depan keras, yeah, it's a, it's a front wing, elytra, ya, yeah. the elytra is a globus, ya, yeah, globus and shiny, ya, yeah shiny yeah in the adults yeah they are shiny yeah okay. they are shiny uh, and the larvae they are uh, don't have a seta seta cells yeah if they have uh, it's a, a small and short like like the coccinella larvae yeah and the body is a uh, uh, Elongates, ya. Yeah. Uh, tubuhnya memanjang, ya. Yeah. Tubuhnya memanjang. The body is elongates, ya. Yeah. Like this. Uh. But in a pet type, they have a seta, ya. Yeah. Seta, ya. Yeah. Seta sius, ya. Yeah. They have a seta. But uh, it's like a, a pine, pine-like type, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, jadi uh, setanya itu mirip dengan uh, bentuk cemara, ya. Yeah kind like uh, type of uh, the seta of the larvae yeah yeah uh, it's a one of the uh, uh, pest pre pest, uh, pest species in uh, coccinellidae family we call with the henosepilahna or epilahna sparsa is the famous uh, species of the uh, coccinellidae yeah yeah uh, okay, for information, coccinellidae is a uh, the family, yeah, the family. You know the kingdom, uh, phylum, and then uh, class. Uh, sorry, the kingdom, uh, phylum, class or two, yeah. Nah, it's a family, class or two, family, uh, genus, genera, and species, yeah. Coccinellidae is the family, the name of the family of the ladybug. Yeah. They have they have a two type predator and pest. Okay. In a, a type of the pest, they have a seta seta pine like yeah pine like so seta yang mirip dengan cemara yeah seta pine like in the larvae when the when they larvae and then uh when they adult the elytra the elytra is a uh, uh, becoming like a velvet yeah like a velvet yeah so it's not a shiny yeah, 
not shiny, not bright, yeah. Uh, this is like a, yeah, not clear, not clear to Elytra, yeah. It's different with the uh, coccinellite in the predator type. Okay. You will see, and if you have a, a, some feedback, you may uh, can submit in our menu. Okay, okay I will go to the next uh, slide. Biological agents terms, yeah, uh, common terms, uh, because biological agent is uh, near with the protection, yeah, with the plant protection. Uh, and the common terms in English we call with the biological control, yeah. But in Indonesia we call with the pengendalian hayati, yeah. It's the same, uh, it's the same term, but it's a different language. Uh, one is it from uh english uh language and in is it uh the indonesian language bahasa indonesia pengendalian hayati okay. it's a one term of the technology of biological agents okay uh important terms that you uh, uh must be know about the biological agents yeah Okay, uh, a chain yeah, is an uh, organism or individual. Yeah. A chain, yeah. A chain, a chain. Uh, that is a subject of our uh, role in controlling the agro ecosystem. A chain is an individual yeah, or organism. And second, biological refers to the nature of life. Life, yeah. He took, yeah. Life or is as defined as the organism. Life is an organism. Third, living things that comes from organism. Example of uh, organism, human, animal, fungi, bacteria, and so on. The material things that, uh, sorry, the living things we call with the organism. Like a human animal, they all of them is alive, yeah. Like like us, we we call with the organism. Human being is a is a one of the organism. Yeah, seperti kita itu kita hidup, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Kita hidup. Nah, sesuatu yang hidup itulah yang tersebut dengan hayati, ya. Yeah. Kalau uh, untuk lebih mempermudah untuk adik-adik yang berbahasa Indonesia. Uh, di dalam PPT ini juga ada PPT yang berbahasa Indonesia. Silakan Anda baca juga di situ dan Anda ikuti video ini. Ya, uh, hal ini akan mempermudah Anda untuk memahami apa yang kami sampaikan. Oke, okay. oke, okay, I go to the next slide. At the preview slide, uh, I explain about the uh, technology of biological control is near with the plant protection. So, uh, we have a dealing about the biological control. So, what is the biological control? Yeah. Uh, is the use of a living organism or natural enemies to suppress the population density. Yeah. Yeah, population density of a plant disturbing organism. Yeah, plant disturbing organism uh, is uh, like a pest, like a pathogen like a weeds yeah so uh, that by reducing damage to agro ecosystem okay. we protect uh, our plant with the living organism it's a call with the biological control yeah. jadi kita menggunakan uh, pengendalian hayati atau biological control kita menggunakan organisme uh, hidup ya yeah, untuk Uh, membuat uh, organisme pengganggu tanaman itu uh, menjadi lebih berkurang ya populasinya sehingga akan menurunkan tingkat kerusakan di agro ekosistem kita itu yang menjadi poin dari biological control oke okay, uh, natural enemies ya yeah. we we call natural enemies at the Previous slide, yeah. 
they are predators uh, 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 pathogen of the uh, insect yeah uh, parasitoids and with feeders we call with the natural enemy yeah. they are activities uh, uh, or maybe their toxic, toxin product will lower the breed rate and increase the mortality rate of the pest or pathogens. Predator eat the pest. Pathogen infected the pest, yeah, are the pests, but infected with, with the pathogen, yeah, they can die, they can hurt, uh, yeah, okay, it's pathogen for the pest. And then parasitoid, parasitoid is a they parasite uh, the pest of the uh, some uh, uh, periodical time, yeah, infected the pest. Now we call with the parasitoid, and the last we call with the weed feeders, yeah, the uh, the insect, but they eat the weeds, yeah, yeah, okay. Jadi ada predator ya, predator ini adalah mereka yang memakan uh, hama lain ya. Kemudian ada patogen ya, patogen ini bukan patogen pada tanaman, tapi patogen yang menyerang pada uh, hama ya, pada hama. Kemudian ada parasitoid ya, parasitoid itu dia memparasit dalam waktu tertentu ya, dalam masa periodikal uh, mudanya di hama yang menyerang tanaman. Nah, kemudian yang terakhir adalah weed feeders atau pemakan gulma. Oke, okay. is a predator from the uh, arah ya, yeah. uh, from the spider, ya. Yeah. Spider is a uh, one of the predator in agro in agro ecosystem ya yeah. spider ya yeah. and then is a pathogen ya yeah. pathogen is from a fungi bakteri and virus ya yeah. uh, and then is a parasitoids ya yeah. is a parasitoids uh, infected with uh, infected infected in a uh, Worm, yeah, it's a it's a small worm, yeah, and then it's a nematodes, yeah, nematodes is a can can make your uh your soil is a uh, fertilized, yes, and nematodes, yeah, and there are many nematodes, yeah, nematodes uh, can be uh, useful for your uh, soil or Uh, nematodes can uh, affect the uh, some injury in, in the plant, but it's a it's a nematode that is, is useful for the soil. Yeah. They can be uh, like a decomposer in the soil, make your uh, soil uh, more fertile. Yeah, more fertile. Okay. Ini adalah adalah beberapa contoh dari. Uh, musuh alami ada yang berupa predator ya ini ada dari golongan predator seperti laba-laba ya lady beetle kemudian uh, lalat sirpit kemudian ada uh, patogen yang menyerang uh, hama ada fungi bakteria dan virus ya dan yang ketiga ada parasitoid ya parasitoid ini memparasit pada ulat-ulat kecil pemakan daun atau mungkin ulat-ulat kecil penggorok daun. Nah, ini yang terakhir ada juga nematoda ya. Nematoda ada beberapa yang menguntungkan dan juga merugikan, tapi ini adalah salah satu yang menguntungkan ya. Eh dia dapat membuat eh tanah Anda menjadi lebih subur dan juga dia memakan nematoda lainnya ya. The name, this nematode can uh, eat the small, small other nematodes that can be a pest for the plant. Yeah, but they uh, 
today we can we can call this uh, nematode is a, a useful nematode uh, can eat the uh, past nematode and can make your soil is improvement there yeah, in the fertilize yeah the uh, organic compound is a rich with uh, like uh, some agent yeah some biological agent that can improve your soil but can uh, protect your uh, can protect your uh, plant from the other pathogen that can be injury your plant Ya, jadi kalau ini ya bisa menggunakan pupuk-pupuk tertentu ya pupuk-pupuk organik yang ternyata mereka kayak uh, agensia hayati juga yang bisa membuat tanah subur dan juga bisa membuat uh, keadaan apa uh, keadaan lingkungan itu uh, ternyata ada banyak agen yang bisa melindungi dari penyakit-penyakit tanaman tertentu. Oke, okay, at the third we call with the augmentation ya, yeah. augmentation ya. Yeah. Augmentation is a mass rearing of natural enemies in a laboratory. But uh, this separate with the two type ya. Yeah. At the first we call it with the biological inoculation ya. Yeah. Uh, natural enemy release is expected to survive and multiply and is effective in the next season ya. Yeah. Is a preventive method. At the second, biological intention, yeah, release the natural enemy is not expected to survive and do not reproduce in the following season or in the next season. Yeah, it's a curative uh, method. Yeah. Jadi augmentasi, ya, yeah, atau perbanyakan musuh alami yang dilakukan di laboratorium. Tapi nanti dibagi lagi menjadi dua teknik yaitu ada teknik inokulasi ya. Jadi musuh alami dirilis tapi e, diharapkan untuk bisa survive dan e, memperbanyak diri sampai ke musim berikutnya. Ini disebut dengan cara-cara e, yang preventif ya atau pencegahan. Kemudian yang kedua biological inundansi ya atau inundation A biological intention ini merilis uh, musuh alami atau melepaskan musuh alami tapi tidak diharapkan untuk uh, survive ya atau untuk tetap bertahan dan bereproduksi sampai uh, musim berikutnya hanya uh, yang inundansi itu hanya diharapkan untuk uh, melindungi pada musim yang ini saja tapi tidak untuk musim berikutnya itu ya uh, kita sampai di uh, next slide ya yeah. in the next slide we uh, to the history of biological control tentang sejarah biological control atau pengendalian hayati uh, in this picture uh, we can show about the uh, ancient uh, notebook of the Chinese ya. Nah, ini adalah uh, teks kuno dari Cina ya. It's a old notebook of the from 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 the China ya. They uh, describe about the uh, apids that the one of the uh, past and the, like a beetle ya. Yeah. Is a beetle is the one of the past of the beetle ya. Yeah. Okay, uh, the Chinese in 980, yeah, uh, 900 sebelum masehi, uh, used to okepila okay, smaragina or red ant, yeah, okepila okay, smaragina atau semut rangrang, yeah, kalau di bahasa Indonesia, to control the pests, uh, they modified the path between the trees with the bamboo hooks. Uh, so, uh, smaradina or red ant eat the worm, yeah, eat the worm that uh, attack to the fruit, yeah, yeah. So, uh, red ant is a predator for, for to the uh, worm of the fruit. Yeah. Jadi, semut rangrang ini adalah uh, 
predator ya yang memakan uh, ulat-ulat yang menyerang pada uh, tanaman buah ya jadi tanaman buahnya itu diberikan sepengkait bambu ya yang membuat semaradina itu dapat berjalan-jalan dari pohon satu ke pohon yang lainnya nah karena semaradina oke okay, bila semaradina atau semut tangerang ini adalah predator mereka akan mudah memencarkan habitat mereka dan dapat melindungi buah uh, yang ada di pohon tersebut ya dan dapat mengurangi secara signifikan jumlah dari uh, hama ulat yang menyerang tanaman buah tadi oke okay. uh, red end uh, can control the pest of the uh, fruit tree yeah they uh, yeah they can easily to separate from uh, from the one tree to the next tree and then next tree yeah with the, with the bamboo hook And then the other uh, example about the historical of the biological uh, control we call with the chinampas yeah what is a chinampas uh, chinampas is a uh, is from the ancient of the aztec yeah it's from the uh, south of the america yeah america is a farm far from <laughs> our uh, continent yes we are the asia and uh, America is a uh, from far from uh, <laughs> our country, yeah. Filipina, Indonesia is far from the America. But the ancient Aztec met the Chinampas, yeah. Chinampas is a uh, uh, floating garden, yeah. Kebun uh, terapung, yeah. It's a make up from the wattles or reeds, yeah, and cover with the mud. Uh, like sediment and water of pits yeah uh, some uh, researchers say that uh, chinampas is a pioneer of the hydroponic yeah the modern hydroponic yeah chinampas ini adalah kebun terapung yang dibuat dari uh, anyaman-anyaman alang-alang kemudian lumpur yeah dan juga beberapa gulma-gulma air yang dianyam begitu menjadi sebuah uh, kebun terapung. Nah, Cinapas ini juga beberapa peneliti mengungkapkan bahwa uh, merupakan uh, pionir dari hidroponik modern. Ya. Oke, okay, uh, the mud of Cinapas is rich with the trichoderma. Trichoderma is a fungi, but uh, it is useful for the agroecosystem. Because trichoderma can uh, can attack the the other uh, pathogen of the plant, yeah. So the uh, uh, corn plant are resistant to the fusarium and several other diseases, yeah. It's a pioneer of the biological control, yeah. Classic. Next, okay. Uh, I will show you about the. Uh, uh, video, yeah, yeah. I have a uh, one example of the entomopathogen. The entomopathogen is a pathogen, but attack the pest, yeah, attack the insect. We can uh, and the uh, uh, example which is from the cordyceps fungus, yeah, uh, is a uh, insect disease, yeah. Incredibly, 80% of all insects live in jungles. Few are more successful than the ants. There can be 8 million individuals in a single hectare. But jungle ants don't have it all their own way. It's the ants uh, that eat the... Uh, These bullet ants are warm. showing some worrying symptoms. That uh, infected with the uh, cordyceps a fungus. fungus called cordyceps have infiltrated their bodies and, then and their minds. The end is infected too by the cordyceps. They it's feel uh, sorry, uh, the end feel like uh, unhealthy. Yeah, 
Then, utterly disorientated, it grips a stem with its mandibles. Those afflicted that are discovered by the workers and are another, quickly taken and, away and dumped uh, far away like from the, the Unhealthy and... It seems extreme, but this is the, the another place that far from the like something colony, out of science fiction, the uncolony, far the from the body uncolony. of the cordyceps erupts from the ants' so, head. For the several time, the mycelia of the fungi becoming crude. It can take three yeah. weeks to grow. The cordyceps fungi and when finished, the dead spores crude. will burst from its tip. Then, any ant in the vicinity will be in serious it mycelia becoming elongated. So the fungus is so virulent, it can wipe out whole colonies of ants. And it's not just ants that fall victim to this killer. There are literally thousands of different types of cordyceps fungi, and remarkably, each specializes on just one species. Ini adalah salah satu uh, contoh ya jadi jamur cordyceps yang bisa menginfeksi serangga. But nah ini bisa kita gunakan sebagai uh, teknik pengendalian penyakit like dengan menggunakan penyakit pada saat serangganya yang dikendalikan uh, tentu saja adalah serangga-serangga hama. Okay, uh, is a okay, the next video is a braconid T as a parasitoid. Yeah. It's a pest. Our parasitized caterpillar has spent the last 12 days gorging itself. It now appears profoundly obese. But this is not all fat. The glomerata wasp larvae lie just under its skin. Each is the size of a grain of rice, but together they account for over a third of the caterpillar's weight. The larvae have not yet finished growing and need to keep their host alive. So although they feast on the caterpillar's blood, they have been careful not to touch a single one of its vital organs. This uneasy truce will not last. Within days, the larvae are fully matured. Suddenly, they begin to stir into action. For the past two weeks, this surrogate womb has protected them, but now they no longer need it. To complete the next stage of their life cycle, they must break out. The caterpillar's thick skin should be a solid barrier to the parasitic wasp larvae. But as their bodies have grown, they have developed tiny saw-like teeth. These jagged jaws are for one job only, cutting their way out. Draconid ini adalah salah satu contoh by stroke. The larvae slice through the tough layers of skin. Wash yang menjadi parasitoid pada hama. Nah ini hamanya adalah at the same time, uh, they release chemicals that paralyze the caterpillar, 
di dalamnya ternyata sudah terinfeksi oleh parasitoid dari jin uh, family As the larvae break through, there is nothing it can do. Ya, ulatnya merasa sudah tidak sehat ya, sudah ternyata sudah banyak sekali larva ya dari braconid yang keluar dari tubuhnya. Ada many braconid larvae uh, that enter a new phase of development. Uh, Live warm, yeah, live warm. They swiftly spin silken cocoons. These will provide the perfect environment for their final transformation. But ironically, one of the greatest dangers the larvae will face is being themselves impregnated by other species of parasitic wasp. Incredibly, the wounded caterpillar helps them out. Usually, a caterpillar would spin a silken blanket to make its own cocoon. But the parasitized caterpillar spins his blanket on top of the wasp cocoons, giving them an extra layer of protection. Scientists believe the same wasp virus that infected it weeks before has now invaded the caterpillar's brain and caused this bizarre corruption of its normal behavior. Amazingly, the caterpillar's natural aggression is now also exploited by the wasp virus. The caterpillar becomes a bodyguard actively protecting the cocoons from other parasites. It will watch over them unceasingly until it eventually starves to death. Ya, itu tadi tentang uh, Braconid ya, Braconidae yang menjadi parasitoid pada ulat daun. Nah, uh, ternyata dia diinfeksi kemudian setelah rilis uh, ulat-ulat uh, bukan ulat itu bukan anaknya tapi itu sebenarnya adalah larva dari Braconidae yang kemudian dia lindungi karena uh, ketika menginfeksi di dalam tubuhnya uh, dia membuat sarafnya terganggu jadi secara tidak sadar dia malah melindungi musuhnya sendiri ya. dilindungi dengan menggunakan layer sutra ya menggunakan uh, sutra yang dipilin untuk melindungi tubuh-tubuh dari uh, larva Braconidae sampai mereka dewasa. Nah, ini sangat tragis sekali ya yang dilakukan oleh uh, Braconidae terhadap ulat daun tadi. Ya, nah ini adalah salah satu contoh dari parasitoid. Oke, okay, Braconidae as a parasitoid ya. Yeah. Uh, they infected the uh, leaf worm and then leaf worm is uh, infected in the brain yeah in the brain that they uh, unconsciously yeah uh, unconsciously they protect the braconidae larvae uh, until the leaf worm is died <laughs> Next, uh, we have a coccinella, <laughs> coccinella J as predator. Coxinellidae eat the 
in the next uh, slide, uh, we talk about the biological conservation. Yeah, biological conservation is a uh, we improve the environmental condition. Yeah, uh, with the normally uh, nature. Yeah. With the, so pollinator, predator, and parasitoid needs the food, yeah. So uh, with the planting, the flowering plant, flowering plant, yeah, uh, they reach with the nectar, pollen, or prey. And repute when crops are harvested and pesticides used. So uh, if your uh, environment is uh, normal and uh, green have uh, many uh, flower so the parasitoid predator and pollinator has come uh, to protect your agro ecosystem normal and healthy yeah. jadi kalau lingkungan kita itu sehat ya jadi kita tidak usah uh, uh, terlalu risau akan polinator predator dan parasitoid itu as, pasti akan datang dengan sendirinya karena mereka memerlukan makanan ya makanannya semuanya ada di uh, dalam bunga-bunga yang sudah kita tanam seperti nektar polen ya dan juga tentu saja uh, ada juga ulat-ulat yang siap untuk dimaksa oleh uh, musuh alami tersebut Okay, releasing the natural enemy, yeah. Uh, release. Uh, so we uh, we use the natural enemy to uh, fight our pest in agro ecosystem. The trichogramma, yeah, trichogramma X. Uh, in this paper, yeah, we hanging in the corn uh, leaf that. When the trichogramma is hatching, they can be control uh, the uh, worm, yeah, the corn worm, or maybe the corn borer uh, worm too, yeah. So it's a uh, useful for the environment, yeah. Okay. Uh, another another microbe, yes using antagonistic microbe we can use the bacteria ya yeah, bacillus thuringiensis ya yeah, against atra caterpillar beetle and mosquito and then uh, virus like npv against the caterpillar fungi peparia basiana against two corn borer white fly trip and ntc nematode stenerma uh, against two catworm ya yeah. jadi kalau kita uh, menggunakan biocontrol seperti kita merilis trichogramma ini dapat uh, mengendalikan beberapa ulat-ulat seperti mungkin uh, ada ulat-ulat uh, jagung ya, corn borer, ada tomat apa ulat-ulat tomat ya. Ada lagi kita menggunakan uh, antagonistik mikrob seperti Bacillus thuringiensis ya yang bisa mengendalikan ulat-ulatan uh, kemudian kumbang-kumbang hama uh, nyamuk dan lain sebagainya kemudian uh, virus itu menggunakan NPV bisa mengendalikan caterpillar atau ulat ya fungi bevaria basiana bisa mengendalikan uh, apa penggerek jagung kemudian kutu ke, kutu putih ya kutu kebul trips dan lain sebagainya nematoda seperti stenerma dapat mengendalikan uh, ulat uh, ulat ulat penggerek daun ya. seperti itu ya next slide other bioagent technologies we can use the insecticide formulation from biology like a bt bevaria basiana cordyceps and edc and another we can use the botanic insecticide yes yeah, it's, it's a from plant yeah we extract the plant like a neem uh, like a mauni mahakoni ya yeah, swetinia mahakoni uh, like a rotenon yeah like a piretrin yeah and then the last we use the macrolid macrolide insecticide is a fermented or antibiotic from microbes like a spinosad, apamectin, and emamectin.
but uh, to both of them like a botanic and macrolide insecticide uh, uh, we uh, we do not uh, learn about that because it's a uh, it's not a, a living organism active uh, yeah it's a uh, it's is uh, can be uh, focused in another uh, materials yeah another study material yeah and in this in our uh, material we we do not focus in in this uh, area okay okay is uh, my previous research at 2018, yeah, I used the Bavaria basiana to uh, console sugarcane white crab, yeah, yeah. Bavaria basiana is the fungus, yeah, panjai is the fungus uh, that I used to uh, infected the white crab. Yes, it's the white crab. It's the pest of the sugarcane, yeah. And becoming in infected by the Bifaria basiana. It's a useful uh, fungi. Can be control uh, the pest. Ini, ini adalah salah satu contoh penelitian saya pada tahun 2018. Ya, saya menggunakan Bifaria basiana untuk mengendalikan white crab atau uret ya. Lepidiota stigma ya ini saya uh, aplikasikan dengan Bifaria basiana dan kemudian dia terinfeksi ya. Ini adalah miseria dari Bifaria basiana. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. thank you for watching of this video. Uh, maybe see you next time and don't forget to like this video.